Hey guys, it's Don Mazzi with Flipping Cars For Real. And on this video, we're gonna go ahead and dive into the things that you need to do to prepare yourself for a recession. I'm naming this Recession Proofing Your Used Car Dealership. It is imperative that you implement a system in which you could be able to withstand any fluctuation in the economy. I want you to be able to protect your business so when a tidal wave comes in, you'll be able to stand on a rock. Your business will be able to be on a mountaintop where nothing could touch you. I want to make sure that you prepare yourself early in the game so you don't end up running into any problems or be at risk of closing your business. If anything, you'll be the one that will be thriving. You'll be the one that everybody will be going to to purchase their vehicles while everybody else is crumbling. Now, guys, this is one of the videos that I absolutely feel is so important for you to pay close attention. I wish somebody would have told me this years ago. These are one of the videos that could save you a lot of money, a lot of headache, a lot of sweat and tears where you could be able to go ahead and fully be prepared. This is one of my favorite videos that I am dropping on you here today. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button. And also follow me on Instagram and join the family on Facebook. If you want some free downloadable PDFs and information to elevate you to the next level, check out my website at the link below. Click on it and you'll be able to get some really awesome information. Hey guys, we're all about trying to get you to that money, trying to get you to be wealthy and free to be your own boss. Keep it locked right here and let's jump into this video. Let's go. All right, guys, so I wanted to go ahead and share with you a few steps that I would recommend that you take in order to recession proof your business. Now, these are recommendations and guidelines. They may evolve. They may change over time. I'm not saying that these are rules. You may be able to set up your own fashion with protecting yourself from a recession or a depression, which is much worse. You want to go ahead and set yourself up for complete success, even when times are extremely hard. Uh, I want you to be able to take these steps, take these measures. And like I mentioned, these are guidelines. These could be adjusted. Or if you have some awesome ideas, I'd love to hear them. Leave them in the comments below on ways that you could go ahead and protect yourself and help others protect themselves from an economic downturn or economic spiral. Um, so step one, I do recommend that when opening up your used car business, make sure you have two business accounts. Yes, two business accounts. One account where you'll be able to do majority of your transactions. And within this account, you will have a savings account. So you have two accounts in one. Then you will have another bank that you will go to and open up another business account. In this business account, you will have a checking account. And this is where you will go ahead and transfer funds from your main business account to this backup account recession proofing account how this system would work example when you first launch your system you will have these two accounts so the question i get asked when doing a recession proofing account is how do i go about and allocate my funds well like i mentioned in one of my other videos the way you go about allocating your funds is making sure within this new checking account that you're going to open you also open up a savings account so you could be able to occur some type of um, interest it won't be a lot but when you start having more and more money in this account you will be able to um, gain some interest from the money that you are saving you will go ahead and take from every single sale you will take at least two hundred dollars and go ahead and send it over to this account you could sell it you could write yourself a check whatever it is that you want to do is a keep record you're going to go ahead and send this money to this account immediately as soon as you make the sale you deposit the money in the account do not waste any time part of your logistical process is to go ahead and send this money directly to this account where you do not touch this money now some individuals may say well you're wasting money by putting in two different accounts no you're not wasting money you're protecting yourself protecting your assets protecting your business for when a recession occurs now don't ever think oh a recession is not going to occur anytime soon you need to think a recession is going to happen tomorrow 
You need to think a depression will happen next year. That's the way you need to be mentally prepared and have your business padded and your business protected because you do not want to be in a position where something horrible happens and the economy crashes and you lose everything. You do not want to be an individual that loses everything. You want to be able to ride the waves. You want to be able to ride anything that comes at you and your business remains on top. If anything, your business becomes a entity that others will look at and say, wow, how did he or she do this? So you will go ahead and at the start of your business, have those two separate accounts. I'm going to use an example. You have a vehicle on your lot. You sell your vehicle. Let's say you sell your vehicle for $3,000. After you eliminate your expenses, let's say you purchase a vehicle for $1,500 and then other expenses that come with selling this vehicle, expenses that go into your business, let's say in all, it costs you $2,000. You come out with $1,000 pure 100% profit. You will take that money and you will put it into your premier or your first account, your first business account. Then you will take $250, transfer it, sell it, or you write yourself a check. You transfer from bank to bank. You go ahead and transfer that money to your secondary recession proofing account. With that account, ladies and gentlemen, if let's say you have a debit card for that account, you will take that debit card and you will hide it in a safe somewhere where you do not touch that debit card. That is not money that you use for, you know, play things. That is not money you use on a rainy day. You know, this money is when you use it on a rainy hurricane, cyclone, earthquake, when the world seems like economically it is ending. That is when you go ahead and you touch that debit card. That is when you go ahead and you reach into that account. You go in and you throw 250 into that account. Now you have 750 pure profit. Now you will decide what you're going to do with that pure profit. You could go ahead and take a portion of it and reinvest it into the into your account to be able to purchase more vehicles in the future. Or you could go ahead and pay yourself a bonus. Whatever it is that you want to do with that $750, use it wisely. I recommend reinvesting into your business, making sure you pay yourself and make sure that you put it into a great savings account. Remember, your recession proofing account is not a savings account. It is when a disaster strikes account. That is where you have that account. In time, you will start seeing that money grow. Always keep an eye on that account. Check that account once to two times per month. Never get tempted to dip your hand into that account to buy something ridiculous, to buy something that doesn't make absolutely any sense or to splurge. That is not a splurging account. So you'll go ahead and you'll throw money into that account. $250, I recommend. If you want to put less at the start of your business, you can because you want to have as much money on hand as possible. If you're aggressive, you could go ahead and put more and realize how important it is. I'll give you an example of a business that when they started, they began doing this. When there was a horrible economic downturn, they had $2 million at their disposal at the ready for anything that would happen and they had the two million dollars and they didn't even have to really use the two million dollars in reserve that is what a reserve is ladies and gentlemen they had a reserve they used that money to get the best quality vehicles that they could possibly get their hands on vehicles that they would have never been able to purchase on a regular or normal economy and they went and they got these vehicles now cars as you will find out they can break down and have problems when they sit for too long but they did everything possible to keep those cars rolling and they were able to get those cars and cars are not really perishable especially if they're more recent and they were able to keep those cars and when the tide changed and things were better they were not able to flip these cars and make a killing they were able to sell these cars lower than everybody else. You would think that they would be greedy and go ahead and sell the cars at a high price. No, they decided to go ahead and sell the cars. And instead of making $1,500 or $2,000 profit, they went and made $2,500 profit off of each vehicle, roughly. But they were able to beat their competitors by $2,000. Example, they could be able to sell a honda pilot for example that would probably would go for on a regular car lot for like seven thousand to eight thousand dollars they were able to sell that same vehicle 
for five thousand dollars and guess how much they bought that vehicle for two thousand dollars they were able to make that much profit off of almost every single vehicle so it's imperative that you go ahead and recession proof yourself and i will go through further steps that you need to take in order for you to be able to be the boss and stay the boss even when everybody else is sinking keep a lot right here like share subscribe and let's get this money Perfect.